Robert A. Nisbet's The Quest for Community, a study in the ethics of order and freedom, delves into the fundamental human inclination towards community and its implications for individual liberty and societal order. Through historical, sociological, and philosophical lenses, Nisbet explores the tensions between the desires for belonging and the preservation of personal autonomy. Central to Nisbet's thesis is the notion that human beings naturally seek a sense of belonging and connection within communities. He traces this inclination back to early human history, emphasizing the primal need for companionship and security. However, he asserts that this desire for community often clashes with the values of individual freedom, creating a perennial tension within societies. Nisbet examines the social consequences of the disintegration of traditional communities, such as the family, church, and local associations. He argues that as these primary social units weaken, individuals experience a loss of identity and belonging, leading to a pervasive sense of isolation. This breakdown of community, according to Nisbet, opens the door to the expansion of the state's power as it steps in to fill the void left by diminishing social institutions. Consequently, the state's increased dominance threatens individual liberty by imposing uniformity and eroding organic social ties. Moreover, Nisbet criticizes the modern notion of individualism, particularly its excessive focus on personal autonomy at the expense of communal bonds. He posits that an exaggerated emphasis on individual freedom can lead to alienation and a fragmented society. Nisbet contends that a healthy society strikes a balance between individual liberty and communal solidarity, recognizing the interdependence of the two. In examining the dynamics of power within communities, Nisbet introduces the concept of intermediate associations. These intermediary groups, such as clubs, guilds, and local organizations, act as buffers between the individual and the state, fostering a sense of belonging while preserving individual autonomy. Nisbet champions the importance of these associations in maintaining social cohesion and preventing the concentration of power in the hands of a centralized authority. Furthermore, Nisbet addresses the implications of totalitarianism on the individual and the community. He elucidates how totalitarian regimes aim to annihilate intermediate associations, subjugating individuals to the absolute authority of the state. Here, Nisbet underscores the destructive consequences of eradicating community ties, emphasizing the importance of these bonds in safeguarding individual freedoms. In his exploration of the ethics of order and freedom, Nisbet does not propose a simplistic resolution to the tensions between community and individuality. Instead, he advocates for a nuanced understanding of the complex relationship between the two, highlighting the necessity of a vibrant civil society composed of diverse and autonomous associations. Nisbet's work serves as a poignant critique of both rampant individualism and excessive statism. By emphasizing the significance of intermediate associations and their role in nurturing a sense of community without compromising individual liberty, he presents a compelling argument for the restoration of these intermediary groups as vital components of a healthy and free society. In conclusion, the quest for community offers a profound analysis of the intricate interplay between the human desire for community and the need for individual freedom. Nisbet's exploration of the erosion of traditional social bonds and the consequences for individual autonomy underscores the urgency of re-evaluating the balance between communal solidarity and personal liberty in contemporary societies. Through his insightful examination, Nisbet prompts readers to contemplate the ethical implications of social structures on the preservation of freedom and the cultivation of meaningful communities.